I've lived in Los Angeles for about three years now. They say it's a city for dreamers, but I don't know anymore. Sometimes I think about moving. Then um, every morning I wake up and still here. I'm a filmmaker. Mostly love stories, though. A lot of my work has been about breakups recently. Go figure. Sometimes people ask me, is it harder to be a director when you're a cat? <laughs> I mean, sure. Sometimes you get some assholes who don't take you seriously because you have paws instead of hands or whatever, but most of the people I meet are honestly pretty great. I just try to tell the stories I enjoy, and I think I have a perspective most people don't always hear from, so that's kind of cool. I've been doing this for a while now, and the thing that gets me down the most isn't that it's hard for me as a cat, as a woman, but that it's hard for everyone. Like, I think I make decent work, and I have friends who are miles more talented than me, and we're all just getting by. We live in this gray space between having just started and being able to actually make a living doing what we love. All I really want to do is make art. You know how some people are just born knowing who they are? Like my friend Laura was born a dog and she never wanted to be anything else and my friend Garrett has wanted to be a painter since the first time he held a paintbrush. Well, that's how I feel about filmmaking. It's part of who I am. I can't stop doing it because I can't stop being it any more than I can stop being orange or a cat. But at the same time, my work is part of an industry. Something I don't think everyone understands is that artists have to make a living too. We can't just thrive off the warm, happy glow of having just created something. Our craft is our work. But for so many of us, it, it just feels like we're being told that that should be enough. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just anxious because rent's due next week. Sometimes I stay up watching shorts by other indie filmmakers. I do this thing that I probably shouldn't do. When I find someone whose work I especially connect with on short of the week or Vimeo staff picks or whatever, I stalk them on Twitter and IMDb until I find out what they're working on next. And if they're working on big commercial projects, I trace how many lines on IMDb it took them to get there and I start to hate myself for not working hard enough to jumpstart my own career. And if they're still working on smaller scale passion projects like me, I get really sad. Because they're so good. And if they can't get work, then how can I? I have bad days. Days where I'm just paralyzed by how many things I want to do that I can't do because of stupid reasons like money and time and whatever. And I know I shouldn't compare my career to other people's careers, but I do. And it, it just kills me. I'm petty and I'm jealous and I don't know how to stop being any of those things. The only thing that really helps is working. Finding new projects, telling new stories, nothing feels more productive than production. I tell myself that everyone gets there at their own pace, that I'm working as hard and as fast as I can, and that all of this work is moving towards something grander, I guess. I know that I'm just a speck of sand on a beach of identical specks. And I'm a relatively lucky speck. I'm a speck that sometimes gets to make art. I guess this is just my message in a bottle to all the other specks on all the other beaches. Hi guys, I'm Mary Kate and this is Molly. She's a foster cat with Kitten Rescue, which is an LA-based animal service organization. One of their missions is to eliminate animal homelessness in the community through a foster program that places shelter animals like Molly with volunteers like Yulene to feed them and take care of them and work to get them adopted. If you'd like to help Kitten Rescue, you can donate at the link in the description box below. Like and subscribe! Don't forget to like and subscribe.